going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because we always talk about geeky stuff over here. But today we're going to be discussing the sequel to Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. We're talking about Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. Now this wasn't one of my most anticipated films of the year. One of those being that I'm kind of a muggle when it comes to the Potterverse. I'm, I like the films. I actually enjoy a lot of the Harry Potter films, but none of them are in the echelons of one of my favorite films of all time. And the first Fantastic Beasts was a little underwhelming for me. I thought the film was fine. I thought it had some fun moments, but I've never felt myself wanting to delve back into that film, just like I feel like with the other Harry Potter movies. But Crimes of Grindelwald, I wanted it to exceed that. I wanted to get up that hill and go above and beyond. And coming from a muggle, that's being me, and me not being the biggest fan of the original fan of Acid Beast, and also seeing that this film currently has like a 54% on Rotten Tomatoes, I went in with some tempered expectations. But I'm going to say this. Crimes of Grindelwald is one of my favorite films in this universe. And I do mean that. I don't mean it's like top three for me, but I really enjoyed this film. In fact, I love this film. I thought it was great. And I, I get it. Maybe it's just because it is a very big setup film, setting up for the next film. But in the same sense... It felt like stuff were actually happening. It felt like it was essential. It felt like something was happening at twists and turns. And the hashtag protect the secrets, that really is this film, protect the secrets of what's going on in here. There are some big stuff that goes down in here that I think if you are even somewhat knowing of the Potterverse, your jaw is still going to drop at certain elements. And if you're very into the Potterverse... You're really going to freak out at some things that happen in here. Of course, like I said, this is the second installment in the Fantastic Beasts series, and it follows New Scamander on another adventure, not just with Tina or Quinny or Jacob. We also have some new characters in here. We have Jude Law jumping in as a younger Dumbledore, and this was one of the, like, when I saw he got casted, I was like, that is brilliant. I love that. Let's see it. And Jude Law gives one of the best performances in the film. I wanted actually a bit more of him, but they set up something so intriguing about him that by the end of the film, I was like, I cannot wait for the next one. Let's get to it. And then going to, which might be a little bit controversial for I know a lot of people who did not want Johnny Depp in here playing Grindelwald. A lot of people just wanted Colin Farrell to play him, which I find it a little bit weird that they just didn't make Grindelwald Colin Farrell. But besides the point, how did Johnny Depp do? I thought he was one of the best parts of the film. That's being personally honest. And I thought he was great as Grindelwald. I didn't see Johnny Depp. I saw Grindelwald. And all the characters do. just see Eddie Redman. I see Newt Scamander. He becomes that character. And in this film, and in the first one, I wasn't really on board with Newt Scamander. In this one, I found myself getting more on board with him. Liking his character. Enjoying him more. Same goes to Quinny, who I thought was very underrated in the first one. Enjoyed her a little bit more. Tina absolutely loved her progressive in here and there's one moment in between her and newt that i just fell in love with and then going to dan fogler's character jacob he's a great addition as well he brings those comedic beats that really do work and i think he even landed more jokes within this film now this film isn't as lighthearted as the first one there are lighthearted moments do not get me wrong there are some moments with the little nifflers that i want a little niffler for myself but they just continue to amp those great things up with the beasts and enjoying those things and seeing how Newt interacts with them. There's some good comedic beats with there, but this is more of a dark and serious film that tackles more of the certain things. With Ezra Miller's character Credence being one of the big MacGuffins of the whole movie, I loved seeing the dynamics and his story and where it went. And same with Zoe Kravitz's character Lita. I loved where she went. And you get to learn more about the world. There's some great crowd-pleasing moments for the Potter fans, and there's great moments all around that people are going to have a blast with with the secrets the twists and turns that happened in this movie and overall just knowing that this is more of a setup film i didn't feel that yes it is setting up for stuff but it just felt like another chapter into this universe and something that exceeded the original but me intrigued and interested to see the next fantastic beast film i will say it's not a perfect film i think something that this film could have easily touched on more is cutting out one or two of the subplots there's a couple subplots in here that overall i feel like if you cut out completely you wouldn't need, again, maybe down the road, when all the chapters are filled out, it will make more sense for certain things. But again, in this film, it didn't make sense, and I feel like some of the subplots, it's like, okay, yeah, you, you could cut that character out, and it would have made for a more flowing and smoother type of movie. Again, the film has a lot of exposition. J.K. Rowling writes the script. Sometimes you can feel that, but... There's not one point in time where I checked my phone to see what time it was. The film flew by and it's two hours and 15 minutes. Personally for me, coming from a muggle who really isn't loved into the Potter universe and doesn't know everything, I still enjoyed it. And in fact, I might even love this film. And 
just so everyone knows, I brought one of my best friends who is a big Potter fan, and she loved it as well. So take that as what you will. I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this film. So with all that said, I'm going to give Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald a B+. Tell me guys, what are you guys' thoughts on the Crimes of Grindelwald? Are you excited for it? What was your favorite moment? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. And also guys, stay tuned because later this week on Friday morning or Friday afternoon, I'm going to be posting a Harry Potter ranking. I've never done this before, but I'm going to be talking about all the Harry Potter movies with Crimes of Grindelwald and Fantastic Beasts. We're going to be talking about both those films in that ranking. So let's talk about it down below in the comments. Can't wait to hear you guys and hopefully you guys make it there. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you guys are again are new here and you guys want to check out some movies early, maybe like Creed 2, check out Sandwich on Film also down below because right down there we're giving out movie screens movie tickets checking out some movie news and also some movie reviews over there but guys of course until next time hit that like and subscribe button and stay classy